draft anticipatory questions. In other words, you're going to be faced with your professor the following day. You understand that the professor is going to ask a series of questions as part of the Socratic method. Help yourself out. Draft for yourself some questions that you think that might be asked. And more likely than not, some of the questions you draft for yourself will be the very questions that the professor will ask you the following day. Next, expand your outline. As you're going through each case in your casebook, as you're going through your, your nightly uh, assignments, you're increasing the scope of your outline. So as you're going through this entire process, you're adding additional cases that you're reading to your overall outline. And, the, and obviously the importance of that is that when you get to the point where you're studying for your, your exams, you will have gone through the process of, of creating an outline. And, and this, is, this is part of how you do that. Read the horn book section. Now, the horn books are very important because the horn books are useful tools that help you understand the area of law that's being discussed by the cases. And sometimes the, the language in the cases are, are, is arcane, sometimes it's murky, sometimes you're confused. And you will find that the horn books are very useful tools to help you to understand the areas of law. And uh, I highly suggest that, that you have a horn book for each and every one of your first year law school courses, and you use that horn book, horn, horn book you, uh, you know, regularly so that you're, you're constantly keeping up with, with the case book. You're using the outline in the cases in the case book, you're tracking it not only in the table of context of your case book, but also in the outline of your horn book and the outline that you're creating because your individual outline is going to be very critical and you always have to keep track of you know, where you are in, in the subject matter. Read the commercial outline search section. Now there, you know, there are a couple of commercial outline outfits out there that, that produce some, some very good outlines. Uh, and the commercial outlines are very useful. They're not as extensive, they're not as, as detailed as the horn books are, but they're basic tools to help you understand the nuts and bolts of what the subject matter is all about. Uh, so in preparing for class, one of the things you, you will find it useful to do is that if you, if you find that the horn book is uh, a bit more detailed than you need for the moment, you're running short of time and you're studying, it's, it's, it's very good to have a, uh, you know, a, a good commercial outline to help you get, to get through the material. Ask yourself, where are we? Always identify where you are within the scheme of the course. As you're preparing for class, just make sure you're following along where you are, where, what you, what you, where, where, where you were the, the, the day before, where you are today, and, and where you're going tomorrow. Just, just pay attention to where you are in the course, the, the area of law that you're studying, and as you're reading the cases, understand what area of law, what rules of law, the cases that you're reading are setting forth. And then there are, there are personal things that you have to do. You have to, you know, you're, you're a human being, you're going through a, a, a very arduous process. Take care of yourself. You should, you should eat well. You should make sure that you keep up with your, with your uh, energy level and make sure that you eat well Make sure that you sleep well. Make sure that you're taking care of, care of yourself. Make sure that you, you, uh, you exercise as, as often as you can because you cannot spend all of your time just studying. You cannot devote all of your time to just reading cases because at a certain point you reach the point of diminishing returns just like in anything else.